So digital natives are Generation Z, have grown up with digital technology as opposed to analog. Their world has always had ubiquitous internet access and a proliferation of mobile technologies. And when we're designing products for them, we need to reflect this in our designs. Next slide. <laughs> so um, sometimes we assume that digital is just in their DNA, that they're inherently better at interfacing with technology. But really, they've just had more access over time. And more importantly, we've designed products that are increasingly easier to interact with. So digital natives do come in different varieties. There are avoiders, those who, who don't really like to interact with technology. There's minimalists, the ones who use, use it for a bit of email, a bit of mobile, but they're not wholly embracing it. And then there's the always on 24-7, you know, the, the division between their online and offline lives are blurred. It is possible to design products that span across these groups, and it's best done by talking to them and continuous user testing. Um, products must be unintimidating. They must be easy for, the, uh, for, for all users to use, uh, but have technical depth too. Anyone born roughly prior to 1990 is a digital immigrant. We know digital, but it was, not, it was learned. It's not our native tongue. And sometimes it's hard for the immigrants to communicate uh, with the natives, but we need to design products that, uh, that do. Uh, one of the most transforming aspects of digital, um, the digital revolution has been in communications. So when designing for digital na natives, we need to enable communication and social interaction. Digital natives are, by their nature, extremely good communicators. Very, very good communicators. Um, they talk to each other en masse regardless of what activities they're currently engaged in. So you can either facilitate that in the design of your products, or they'll find a way of doing it despite you. So I know we all think we can multitask, but uh, digital natives have grown up with multitasking. Um, you know, they're playing games while they're watching TV, uh, and while they're game playing games, they're speaking to each other. Um, and they do that much better than us. They do it all simultaneously. So while they're better at multitasking than us, uh, their level of engagement is a bit half-assed sometimes. So they're very, very easily distracted. So you need to design products that fight for the digital natives' engagement. So although they can seem almost intimidatingly at one with technology, it's actually on a really superficial level for the most part. Their understanding of what's under the hood tends to be really, really limited. limited. So if you think about it, you know, all tech so far has been invented by non-digital natives. So we live in an amazing world. The technology that's been developed over the past 10 years is staggering, and it's accessible and user-friendly. And while we don't have flying cars or jetpacks yet, we have things unimaginable 20 years ago. But the, uh, the you know, Generation Z, the meh generation, they're not easily impressed. You can design something that's nothing short of miraculous, and you actually have to explain to them why it's impressive. They've grown up with cool stuff uh, around them all their lives, and they take it for granted. So they have high expectations. They expect everything that they interact with to be as good as everything else. So the bar for quality is set by their favorite Xbox game or by their favorite iPad app. And if your designs don't stand up to that, then you know, you're, you're kind of in trouble. When they do like things, they stick with them. Um, they're very loyal to brands, uh, overly emotional. Sometimes you even consider them somewhat naive in their relationships to brands. Um, but that said, if a brand does abuse that relationship, um, they'll, they'll reject that fairly quickly. Um, digital natives are all about sharing and crowdsourcing. Um, they, tend not, they tend to you know, share information, not keep it locked up. And the knowledge works both, shares both ways. The digital natives have more faith and trust in what they learn from their peers rather than what they learn from supposed authoritarian sources. Digital natives love a crowd, but they're all individuals. They value products that enable self-expression, customization, and personalization. Um, these are key differentiators. Digital natives will pay more for products that allow them to do this. They're cultural magpies. They own all culture and history on the device in their hand. They'll gladly ma mash together Elvis, the Ramones, and Lady Gaga in a single playlist. Theirs is a culture of borrowing the best bits of everything in pop culture to date. So pop culture references in your designs are okay. They learn by browsing. They skim vast amount of information on a very, very cursory level. Designing information in a, in a non-linear way for this generation is really, really important. Um, the problem is they tend to overly trust the information that they find online as being fact when it isn't necessarily. In the end of the day, though, the information available to them on every subject imaginable means they're no longer limited by the knowledge of their parent, their teacher, or their local library. Um, and as Jesse Shell says, the curious will win, and we need to design products that enable and enhance that curiosity. Uh, further reading, Mark Krensky, Zur Institute, Jesse Shell, and anybody who wants to talk to me, I'm my lovely horse, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Emma, at uh, Twitter, whatever. Okay, cheers, guys.